so far, so we have implemented this new and open file function. So now we can open this text file. Mm. So this time uh, we're going to implement this uh, save function. So, you know, uh, whatever you type here, so you can, you know, save what you have written on this text file. So, so let's do it. Okay, first let's make uh, another method here. Public and void save. So as you can see, there is uh, two kinds of save, save and save as. So save is uh, basically uh, like overwrite the current text and the save as is uh, like a create a new file. So first we're gonna take care of this save as and then we're gonna do this save later. Okay, so another method public void uh, save as. So we're gonna make this method first. So again, uh, we're gonna use this file dialog and ft call new file dialog. So we're gonna open this uh, dialog box again and inside, so first uh, window, then this time not, not open but save and then third parameter file dialog dot uh, not load but save this time save we're gonna choose this one and then uh, okay set to visibility visible true okay and another if statement if ft dot get file not equal no. And uh, yeah, basically the same uh, file name. Equal ft get file. And the file address as well. And equal ft dot get directory. And also a window set title file name so yeah this means uh um how to say so if you make a save file called uh, like uh, my text then that save it then uh, this name changes to my text as well so this is gonna set the new file name on this window and another uh, try and catch catch exception oops e uh, yeah, I don't know, something wrong. And uh, okay, so inside of this try, uh, this time we're gonna use uh, not buffered reader, but uh, this time uh, file writer. FW call uh, new file writer and uh, inside it's same so file address file address plus file name and uh, let's import this file writer and uh, okay use this file writer right and uh, here so we're gonna get text from this text area so we're gonna get what is uh, written on this text area. So text area get text. So this file writer get uh, what is written on this text area and uh, write to a file. So basically save the text data. And then uh, we're gonna close this uh, file writer. So yeah, this is done. I think okay and uh, so let's call this uh, save as method so from here uh, so first let's add this action listener and uh, action command to this save as uh, okay 
save as, save as, and the uh, action command is save as. Okay, so let's add uh, this one too. This one, wait. This I save. So for this action command, and also this exit. So uh, exit, exit, I think. Mm. And so here, another case. So for this one, save as, uh, save as, and the file. Uh, so let's call this method save as. Mm. Okay, and so yeah, let's check this. So type something, 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 something. So let's choose this save as. Mm. Okay, so save, save is written here, save. And also this means uh, save. Last time it was open, but uh, since we uh, we have chosen this uh, dot save, so this word has changed. And so let's uh, name this something. So something dot text and save. So something, yeah, another text file is uh, created. So if you new delete this and uh, open and something, yeah, so we can yeah, load this text file, open this text file, and we can save too. Okay, so now uh, let's take care of this save function. So basically this is uh, like, a, yeah, as I said, this is a overwrite the current text. So if you like add something, so if you like uh, add something here and then so usually you don't choose this one, right? When you use a notepad, so you just overwrite it. So that's what we're gonna do. And okay, so first in this save method, uh, we're gonna make this if statement and uh, we're gonna use this file name, uh, equal null. So that means uh, file name doesn't has a name so that means it's a new file so you haven't saved anything yet so in that case let's call this you know let's just call save us because there is no file yet but else so else means uh you know you are you're working on like an existing file then so try to overwrite it so another try and catch method catch Okay, I don't know. I think I'm gonna just copy this. Something long. And okay. And inside of this uh, try, so we can just copy this, I think. And uh, and also we need to set file name because this is gonna be a new one. So file name and also okay. And I'm gonna add something here this new uh, so when you renew the file so when you create a new file then I want to reset file name so file name equal null and also file address null so when you start the application when you start the application file name and file address still has no name also if you click this new then uh, file name and file address have no longer uh, you know have have no name so in this state then uh, if you try to this uh, overwrite it then uh, then program asks you to make a file so that's uh, what this means mm okay I think this is done so yeah let's call this save method so we have already added this save action command so 
we just add another case here, the save, and also a save method. Okay, so let's check this. Uh, okay, so yeah, let's open uh, this Star Wars. And uh, so let's change something. So let's add something, maybe. So like uh, Luke sucks, or yeah, Luke, Luke is cool, Luke doesn't suck, but uh, this is just for sample. And uh, yeah, this time let's choose this save. So overwrite it, overwrite this Star Wars Wikipedia file, save. And uh, let's new and uh, open this Star Wars again. Yeah, so we succeeded to overwrite the current text. Mm. So this save is also working. And so finally, so this exit, so I think we're gonna do this too, because it's, uh, it's kind of easy one. So, okay, let's add another method, uh, exit. Maybe you already know, but you just need to type like this, system dot exit and zero uh, inside of this bracket, then the program shuts down. So we just need to call this method uh, from here. Add another case, and this time, if action command is exit, then let's call this exit method in this uh, function file. Okay, so let's check this. Uh, okay, so let's click this. Okay, so you can finish the uh, application. Okay, so I think we are done uh, with this file section. So new open, you know, overwrite and uh, new save, new save file and uh, exit. So everything is working. And so yeah, next time we're gonna work on other stuff. So probably we're gonna work on this format first. So yeah, as you can see, uh, you know, text is not all too lapped. And also the font size is kind of small so you know we want to use a different size of font also we want to use a different font so we're gonna add these things uh, in this format so but that's it for now so thanks for watching and uh, see you again bye